Hello, welcome back to the channel, Happy New Year, and today I am back on Roblox playing uh, a train game called British Rail by a team called Fourth Rail. Um, it's basically like, I don't really know, it's a British train game which has trains from Britain and it's based on like a fictional British land thing, I guess. Um, this is my first view of it and hopefully it is good. Because it's been in the works for a while. Should we just hop straight in and drive? Um, there you go. Um, so at the moment, there's, there's only three trains: one four two Pacer, one five six Sprinter, and one seventy Turbo style, I guess. Um, how much are um, the coins? Well, let's say you want to buy. Can't let me, buy, let me click. Um, basically, there's all the liveries. There's different routes and all the trains. It'll cost you like 2,000 Robux maybe, which is like 20 quid, so it's not great, really. Um, but hopefully, I haven't played it, I don't know what the points per like route conversion is, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not that bad. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Um, let's just pick that, and let's pick the shortest route, because then we can explore after. Um... First things first, I love the interaction in the cab. Look, I see. you have the door, that's pretty cool. Signal bell for guards, which also has a system here. So, um, how do I control it? Okay, so D is to take it off. D, A, and D is break. W and S is throttle. That'll take some time to get used to, but it's not bad. It is quite semi-realistic I guess you can say with like sort of notches I'm not sure how many notches a pacer actually has so it has six different individual throttle notches most have three or four um, the sounds I can't hear anything it's not just the fact that I'm recording my desktop audio very quiet I can't hear anything okay I can hear something there um, interior yeah I mean nothing special seems okay the livery yeah I mean it's semi based accurately there's advertisements that you can pay for people are already paying for them by the looks of things um, the actual design itself it's nothing special it's okay in comparison to other train games we got 50 miles an hour speed limit okay that throttle sound is quite bad but we're pulling into Merion now let's have a look to see if um, Opto solo there. And what the scenery likes, it, it, it's, it's, it's decent. Um, brake. This train is not braking. Here we go. <sighs> I can't. There's lots of me on the platform. That is my avatar there. Hello, me. I look incredible, don't I? And then there's also there all the developers. But there are AI passengers, that is correct. Dot matrixes seem pretty accurate as well. So this is the first station. It looks to be quite an industrial little station. Um you know, the industry there. But yeah, there's nothing too bad about them. They're okay, I guess. And the signage, I'm not I'm not too sure on the branding. I'm not too sure what it's meant to be. Okay, it wants me to open the door by using T. I'm gonna use them by oh, no, I literally can't press it anymore. Oh no, maybe yeah, there we go. Let's have a look. So apparently people should get on. Are they going to open? They don't. They're not open on my screen. People are trying to get on. They're just going the long way. Okay. Doors didn't open there. Can I go? Okay, yeah. The doors didn't open basically, so that's a bit annoying. Sounds are once again questionable. It drives decently. There's nothing special about it. The throttle mode I like, but it'll take some time to get used to. The sounds inside the cab are minimal. This is a train built in the 1980s off a bus chassis. I'm surprised I can't hear anything. Um, but yeah, you know, the map seems pretty big. And also, 
it seems pretty good to see me. Okay, are we gonna get a red signal here? And now I'm gonna slow down. I think it's a cautionary because we're coming into our terminus here, Leeton. Um, has horn. Why that sound so weird? I sound like it was coming at my, not out my speakers for some reason. Not out my um, headphones. Okay, no, it is. Uh, they are coming at my headphones. So we are platform three with me too. Um, this is the shortest route, three minutes long. Let's see how many points it gets us. We've got a few passengers on board. My body is quite big. <laughs> Sticks out the train on two occasions. Here we are coming into the terminus. The branding is very British Rail 1990s sort of before privatisation, and there are electricity, so clearly there might be some sort of um, update soon to add electric vehicles. All diesel at the moment, bad for the environment. Um, but yeah, it's the first train game I've played which has um, passengers in. Oh god, oh no, oh god, please stop, please, 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 oh we didn't stop. But thankfully you can go into the buffers and it's fine. Will the doors actually open this time? No they won't. That's a shame. And that's it. It doesn't give you any time to think. Straight into it. Straight into this menu thing, which we earned 37 coins for that. Which? What, 37 coins for free? minutes that's not that bad um and these are the routes i can choose and i can buy routes for however much 600 coins 24 minutes out of this. um i'm gonna despawn and return to menu where i will explore the map so i guess i have to spawn at the stations i mean drive at the stations to like get them um, we've been to Leeton, we've been to Merion, how about we go to Freston Junction? Um, there's me. The scenery, it, it's, it's pretty decent, yeah. For, as train games go, um, it's not bad. The station itself, I don't know how realistic it really is. You know, you would have probably in a ticket office or something. Let's have a look, there's the map. In great quality. What's going on over here? No services stopping at platform 1 or 2 due to improvements on the line, okay. The departures aren't working but that might be because there's no trains due. I'm in a private server. Um, but yeah, the, the branding is... And I'm not sure how to describe it really. It's okay. It's a bit dull. It's very dull and boring. And these stations, they're, they're a bit, they're a bit ca lifeless, I think. There's not much going on. There's not much in terms of life. Maybe that's because it's dark. Um, and the lighting is amazing and not doing it great justice. Not sure how we've gone from platform 2 to platform 6. Um, oh, that's why. Because there's three terminus platforms here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, our passengers are cool, but they don't do much. They just kind of stand there. Like... It's the sign says no platform, no trains are stopping at platforms one or two, and there's loads of people waiting here. It just seems a bit like they've just chucked them there for the sake of it, for the sake of saying that you've got passengers when they don't actually do anything. Um, side entrance here. What, what's this like lion thing? Um, Coventry or something like this. I think he's got a horse because that's like. Lady Godiva, that's like their symbol, so maybe that's Freston's symbol. Um, it's a bit lifeless, I must say, the station's a bit dull. Um, let's go back to the menu though. There is a map, we'll look at that in a sec, I don't want to drive. Oh, no, back, explore, longbow. I wonder what this is going to be like, big or small? I'm saying small. Yeah, little village station. Little small town. 
believe it or not, there's about 60 people here, wow. Once again, like, maybe they need to have some sort of, you know, change. Like, here, you wouldn't see this many people, I don't think. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's the biggest station. Um, over this little footbridge... Clearly there's some abandoned infrastructure over here. But then why would you sit why would you say platform three here? If it doesn't look as though it's been used for like thirty years or something. Um I like the fact that there's some sort of like heritageness in terms of old abandoned platform. The era is unknown. I've asked the developers and they don't know. Just 2000s, 90s, you know, like obviously it's not ages ago because the trains are quite modern. But then it's not modern, modern day, I don't think. Because it doesn't feel that sort of way. The signage, the branding, the infrastructure doesn't feel like it's modern day, like 2020s. Um, it, it is good though. And this is the opening day, there's quite a few, you know, let's say we look up. Oh my god, the lag. I'm not sure why it's so laggy. Um, I wish they just had a plain map. And like a diagram line map. Rather than me having to scroll it. There are quite a few stations. And there will be more. I hope. Unless they give up at the game. Which I hope that they don't. Um, but yeah, that, that does conclude this little overview of Fourth Rail. A game with much potential but just needs some more updates and maybe some more love I think they rushed to open it a bit because they've been trying to open it for ages trying to fix bugs and then they said it was going to open today and they you can't really turn back on that after it's been delayed and delayed and delayed time and time again so they have just had to open it it currently has a few hundred players playing it though I think it's got 400 or 500 which is quite a lot so I think this is a game that is definitely going to build and build. And I think improve and improve as um, the months go on. But I would like to thank you for watching this video to the end. I will be doing more content, fingers crossed, hopefully, maybe time lapses, maybe route run-throughs, I'm not sure, whatever you would like. Um, but it's goodbye from me, and um, I will see you another time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.